This is the old board we just replaced. Um, this is the regular standard board. And it, it was a little bit complicated because all these tiny wires, so if you're not uh, verse, and which I'm not, and thank you, thankfully my husband helped me out, but all of these connections uh, need to, you know, go, kind of go in. It's easier like to pop the board out before you start connecting wires because it's hard to get your fingers in there. But once we got it in and figured out following an instruction, uh, a couple of videos, we were able to connect everything correctly. Kaleido M1 Sniper just changed out the board from the standard that uses the touchpad to the pro version which will now connect to Artisan. The standard does not connect to Artisan. So I'm going to go over to the, my Surface Pro and show you that I've already connected it to Bluetooth. It's the Roaster SRS. This one is my M6. I go over to uh, more Bluetooth settings so I could check the COM port. I want the outgoing, which is COM6, hit OK, pop over to Artisan, check my config port, make sure it's COM6, hit OK. This settings file uh, is for the uh, the M1, because it's a little bit different than the M6. It works a lot differently for some of the settings. Um, for instance, the cooling fan commands are different than what's on my M6. Uh, this one needs PID on in order for it to heat, where my M6 does not. So it's just a matter of learning the which buttons work for which roaster. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it on and my temperature should read. It's already started. I've already got P PID on. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I PID just turned off, so let me turn it back on. Now it's, now it's on. And you can hear that everything is uh, working well. The drum is at 90. You can see I can turn the air up. You can hear it going. I can turn down the drum and you can hear it slow down. I'm going to turn down the heat. Heat's turned down. Watch when I uh, I'll put the heat at 10%. Now I'll put it at 100%, and you can see that it's working perfectly. So the venture of ex changing out the, uh, the board wasn't so bad, especially for a non-computer geek like me, or electronics messing around person, and that's it. So that's conclusion. It's not so bad. It's well worth it because I am, I do enjoy roasting with Artisan and monitoring my roasts. Less math to do when it comes to calculating your before and after roasts.